Ladies and gentlemen, this bring us to our main event of the evening, and it is the final round of the King of Sparta Featherweight Tournament. Introducing first out of the red corner, Vadim Zanipriani. Mr. Zani, Vadim Zanipriani making his way to the cage. He is third time coming to a uh, form of combat this evening. Well, we talked about his kickboxing exploits. I think he moved to 76 and four, but he's gonna have his hands full with Yusuf Zalal in this one. No easy task to get past that gentleman. That is for certain. Both fighters, of course, won their boxing matches, won their kickboxing matches. Now we'll see the well-roundedness of their games. They can see if they can join the, the, the alumni that have won this, like LT Nelson, Dustin Jacoby. Yes, sir. With this style of tournament, it makes you wonder which fighter's coming in the most fresh. Because, I mean, they, they both accumulated a couple bruises, uh, soreness, and, uh, you know, in this third fight, it's whoever is more fresh. Some bumps and bangs along the way. Yes, sir. Did he, Briani, how many... What is it? What's his MMA record? That I don't recall. I, I don't. I haven't seen anything MMA with him. We gotta wait and see the tail of the tape. Fighting out of the blue corner, Yusef Salah. Factory X fighter again making their way to the cage. Yusuf Zalal. Said it before the fights, say it now. Belongs back in the UFC. And this would be his road back to said UFC. Yes. Which again, as we referenced earlier, what a highly motivating factor. Right. Not just the win tonight, not just the prize money tonight, but what it can do for his future. And, and one of the things we've seen, this is the third fight that J.R.I. have done since he had been out of the UFC, since he lost his contract. And the one thing you see is the super aggressiveness that at times had lacked, but he's a young fighter. And I think that will transition. Obviously, you're fighting at another level. You're fighting the best in the world, but he has the ability to do so. And again, Tonight he's going to fight a fighter that's been in, in, in rings and cages a lot. Right, and he, he's young enough to where it just builds that hunger, you know, just really recover from failure, learn what you did wrong, improve upon it, and uh, man, this is the night to do it too. And what a glorious title King of Sparta is. Yeah. I mean, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, all in one night. Man, it's so and, impressive. And let's, and let's not forget the $10,000 check that goes with it, too. Nice resume builder. Yes, sir. Yusuf Zalal, the second Factory X fighter to go for King of Sparta title. Kobe fights as a light heavyweight, but he won it as a heavyweight at 210. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sparta! <laughs> Fighting out of the King of Beers Budweiser red corner with Team Alpha Male from Sacramento, California, by way of Ukraine, Vadim Predator Zandi Priyane! <laughs> Fighting out of the Estrella Helico Blue Corner with Factory X from Casablanca, Morocco, you 
Rusev, the Moroccan Devil, Salah! Zadni Priani wears the black, Zalal wears the red. Zadni Priani with an opportunity here, but he's going against a guy that's extremely hungry. The winner gets 10 grand and the King of Sparta title. Here we go, the one seed, Zalal against the seven seed. How about that? A winner fighter will uh, initiate the grappling, if any. That's the key, if any. Both fighters light on their feet. Yeah, all night long we've talked about the good uh, and continuously active footwork of Zadni Pirani. He moves so much. Yusuf looking for his spot. Picking Zalal. that leg, went and picked that leg. Working on this body lock takedown up against the fence. He's doing a good job of keeping his lead leg up against the fence and using it to elevate Zaprini's uh, hips. Zadni Priani, good job with his balance yeah, there. Yeah, Zapriani's tough to get down. Got to grab those legs. Got the legs down, now he needs to try to break out that right hand. Well, you wondered if this was going to go to the ground at all. There's your answer. I think it's an intelligent choice, I mean. Yep. Zadni Priani able to wrap up half guard off the bottom. Zalal, and now full guard. Zalal was trying to pass for a moment. Zalal staying busy, a couple right hands. I think Zalal stepped into the full guard because it's easier to control a man trying to stand up from full guard versus half. And uh, I think he just wants to stay on top and accumulate some damage in this first round. Uh, now he's looking for a pass. Zadni Pirani active off the bottom, active with his hips, as well as trying to wrap up at least one arm of Zalal, shut down some of the striking attack. Yeah, Zalal's getting some good pressure up high and really working to tire him, tire him out with his air. Zadni Pirani is doing a good job with, the, with some frames, both the knee shield and just working his way, you know, trying to work his way back up to his feet. But Zalal with these pass and just the grinding top control. And I like this uh, strategy for Zalal. It's uh, the path of least resistance. Yes. You know, when you're fighting a kickboxer as renowned as Zadi Pirani, like, let's take the fight to the ground. I mean, the guys had 80 kickboxing fights. Where do you want to put this fight? Right. At, le at least get him tired in this first round. Right. Because I think Yusuf can fight anywhere. But I, this is the way... This is the way you get that first round going. Get your opponent tired that's found success on his feet. Right. Be the more intelligent fighter, showcase him the fight IQ, and uh, just get that 10 grand. Nice job hopping over by Zalal. Yeah, Zadni Brandon tried to kick his foot out from under him and affect the sweep, and Zalal just skipped right over it. But. Zadi Brani needs to circle away, either circle away from the fence or use the fence, but being on your back and then your head against the fence, it's such a bad angle to yeah. improve. There's really nothing you can do with it. But now he's inside control. Full side control. It's the first time that Zalal's been able to get past both knees. A minute 30 left. Got his toes in the cage. Oscar slopped those off. Corner of Zalal asking for a little more action now that he's passed. Looking to set up, nope, not a head and arm. From our angle, looks like he's trying to set up a head, head and arm. Oh, yeah. yeah, he does have it. Yeah. I, did, I didn't think he was on the outside. Oh, of the there he goes. Tapped. There he it is. set it up. That's why he skipped over the way he did. Congratulations to the Factory X Fighter. Sets up that head and arm choke, goes home as the King of Sparta featherweight winner. $10,000, and hopefully we'll see him in the UFC soon. Well, he's won three fights now that we've called since he had 
been released, and he did an impressive job tonight against great competition. That this King did. of Sparta featherweight tournament was stacked. All eight fighters were really, really good. It was a solid uh, roster in this tournament tonight, and Zalal was flawless performance. I mean, I thought he looked smooth in every single bout that he That's had tonight. That's exactly the word I was going to use, such a smooth fighter. And Boy, it's all smiles around the Factory X team right you now. You know, he, and he's he's confident. You can see a confidence about him when he fights, and we've seen it the last couple fights, JR, and tonight he put it together for three. He's running out of the, the cage. <laughs> Got a couple of fans he's going to go say hello to. <laughs> Got some, some folks that are awfully proud of him. Drew, you know about him. No fighter makes it into that cage by himself. Everybody at this level has a large support system, and he's uh, reaping the accolades from them right now. I mean, all the hard work is done, so now just enjoy this moment now. Our matchmaker, Vern Earwood, getting in there with Jeff Cisneros, who has the check. He's the Sparta CEO, and we will take it up to Stewie for the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Oscar Martinez called a stop to this bout. Three minutes, 48 seconds into the first round, declaring your winner and king of Sparta featherweight champion, Yusef the Moroccan Devil Zala! Get excited, Sparta. We have got a new king in the house. That's a nice picture of a 10,000. That's a big check. That's a big check. <laughs> Be cool if paychecks came like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm here with Yusuf. Get excited. Yusuf, come over here. How's it feel to be king, my friend? Fuck, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never done this shit before. This shit is crazy. But before I go, man, Factory X! Let's fucking go! I mean, you take the words out of my mouth. Is there somebody you want to thank? Yeah, man, there's a couple people I want to thank. First one is my wife, man. I put her through a fucking roller coaster of emotions. Mm -hmm. And then these two people are the best fucking two people in the world to me. It's Ted and Andrea. Man, I can't, I, I, I can't, I'm speechless when it comes to them, man. They do, they do everything like a son, like, like a father and a mother to me, you know, so. And big shout out to my dad. I know his ass is here. What's up, Mustafa? Let's go! <laughs> Get excited, thank you, Yusuf. What a great performance today. Is there anything else you want to say? Man, I want to thank these guys right here. These guys made everything possible for me. Uh, Coach Mark and Clay had a great fucking game plan for me to come in and do my boxing, kickboxing, MMA, everything that we needed to do. So big shout out to those guys, man. And all my fucking teammates, man. Look at those fucking killers right there. Because of you guys, this shit is easy. Easy. Thank you, guys. And back to Stewie. Well, we'll see if that's going to be his ticket into the UFC. Yes, Another, we will. As Drew said, smooth performance. It really was in all of his fights. I mean, well-deserved. I mean, what a tough and beautiful night of fights. Uh, three fights, one night. Yusuf deserves this win, this victory. And I'm excited what's next. I think, what, 18 fights overall? 17, yes. 18 fights 17. overall? 17. All right, Fight fans, that's it for us. For Drew Dober, for Todd Romero, I am J.R. Gordon. Thank you for having joined us at King of Sparta, the Sparta 98 show. Got number 100 coming up pretty quick. Ooh. Look forward to seeing you guys at the next fights. Thank you, and take care. Thank you.